Well, it's six o'clock in the morning, signalling the cessation of my tenure here on Radio 4 Extra, where we have just a little bit more fun. So I'll leave you with a sparring bit of bantery nonsense about the incoming presenter. Huh, that's Susan Ray. Huh, I've been near her house. Lol, and indeed, Ruffle Mal. Thanks, David. Very funny stuff. We certainly do have a laugh. I just did one. Nothing gets you off to a good start in the morning like a dead person, so here's a crime drama for no reason. Spap! Spap! Spaboobie! We present Death Hails a Cab, a thriller from the 60s with Regis Minsmere as Gordon Pillimanster, written by Timberland Werther's original. Everyone involved in the production is smoking a fag right now. Spap! Time now for a Radio 4 documentary first broadcast so long ago I'm going to need to do a heck of a lot of context setting. Michael Jopling was the Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries and Food in late 1983 and in November of that year, Cry Just a Little Bit was at number three in the pop charts for Shaken Stevens. Fry Just a Little Bit is a documentary exploring the, oh, what's the point, you'll work it out or you won't. Bing bong, hello and welcome to Surely Not on a Sunday, the arcane sitcom set in a supermarket bracing to open on a Sunday for the first time. <laughs> a time-ravaged sitcom from 1994. <laughs> it's time for the news quiz. Now, who went off the boil about a week and a half ago? Um, was it whoever this question's about from the news quiz from about a week and a half ago? Yes, yes it is. Time now for some classic comedy. It's like a bad dream. We're singing cause we're hoping to shift some records of the theme. <coughs> ah, hello, Willoughby. Hello, Mr. Manager. Did you do whatever it was I asked you to do as a setup line? No, sir. I misinterpreted it for comic effect. <laughs> ha ha ha! That was classic comedy. <clears throat> it's time to play hook, line, and sinker, the antiquated panel game with difficult rules that really kill off any hope of pace or mirth. <laughs> and it's time now for Knock 'em Dead, a depressing sitcom about a bickering couple who hate each other and their day to day distress of running a family <laughs> abattoir, probably starring someone like Roger Allam and Felicity Kendall. Oh, Brian, you stink of blood! So what if I do? I hate you. I hate you as well! <laughs> time now for a drama what there's been a film of. Mm -hmm. Did you find her? Did you find her? It's all right. She's safe. That was Three Men and a Little Lady, adapted for radio by Susan Prongs. Time now for a collection of readings set in a culture of which the producer has no first-hand knowledge, but they did find a good CD of on Peter Gabriel's record label for the theme tune. Later we'll have more scrappy bits of radio called The Something of Something. The Inheritors of Power. The Making of Music. The Prince of Wales. The Marquis of Grand... No, these are all pubs. In 700 parts. Repeats, 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 repeats. The seventh dimension at seven o'clock on BBC Radio 7. I mean, six o'clock on four extra. Doesn't really make any sense anymore, but we can't afford a new jingle. The Muon Prophecy. Inexplicable, inaccessible sci-fi. From someone too embedded in science, Simon P. never goes out. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Chuck up, chuck up, comedy, 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 comedy. Club, lab, 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 lab. On Radio 4 Extra. Chuck up, chuck up, Hello, I'm Arthur Smith and I woke up in a skip. Here's some comedy I just read the notes for. It stars several blokes and one woman who probably plays someone an annoying and sensible, and it's set in a town or a U boat or Mars. Sketch comedy, I expect, from 1997, I expect. Just watch out for the gaping holes in the show where we've had to remove the no longer appropriate bits. Midnight now, and time for everything you just heard all over again. Galactic Commander Thantos, remember the prophecy. Who buys me balls on a Sunday? Spap! The dead woman was a go-go dancer and she was smoking a fag. Part 472 of the something of something, fossils. Where's the little lady? Mr Willoughby, my wrinkles are shriveled. Ah! Well, it's 5.59am and that signals the end of my tenure here on Radio 4 Extra. Blah, blah, blah. Similar sign-off to yesterday. Is there anyone out there? Anyone at all. Apart from David, who's paid to be. Hello, David. Click. <laughs>